الحمد لله رب العالمين وأصلي وأسلم على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين ثم أما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أهلا وسهلا ومرحبا في درس اللغة العربية لغير الناطقين بها وقد شرعنا بالأمس في شرح شيء من الوحدة الأولى We started yesterday أيها الإخوة with the first lesson and we did a little bit about الوحدة الأولى the first chapter just to remind you, ayo al ikhwa, everything we write on the board is compulsory to know. Everything we write on the board is compulsory to know. So first of all, what is the name of the book without looking to the title? The young brother there. Arabiyatu Bayna Yadayka. Al Arabiyatu Bayna Yadayka. So, um, like you hear, there are a few words in this sentence. First of all, what is the meaning of Al? The. Al means? The. Even sometimes, you might only hear the first letter of these two, the A. Uh. Like, Ash-Shamsu. So sometimes you hear this Al full. Fully, you hear this L totally, and that is, uh, they call it the L al Qamariya. We will get this at the end of the book, at the 16th chapter, inshallah. So sometimes you might hear the L totally, sometimes you might not hear it totally, but L means the. Regardless of you hear it totally or you hear just the first of the two letters. And I told you yesterday that sometimes the L is not being pronounced totally. And the sign of that is that the letter after the lamb gets a shadda. Ash-shamsu. Ash-sayyaratu. Okay? Anyway, this is something what is not um, very important to know now. What for me, uh, what is important for me is the title now. What means bayna? Between. Raise your finger if you want to give the answer. What is Baina Akh Ali? Between. Baina. Baina means between. Um, then we have Yadayka. What means Yadun? Who knows? Yadun. One hand. He, and two hands. Um, yadani. Yadun, one hand. Two hands, Yadani. What is your two hands? Yadayka. Uh, why do I emphasize the fatha on the calf? Yadayka. Because that's for masculine. Yes, that's for masculine. That's why. Because you have also the yadayki. So to a woman you don't say yadayka. You say uh, yadayki and to a man you say yadayka. I know that the brother knows it. Because uh, if you stop at the end of the sentence, you don't pronounce the fatha. You know, you make it a sukun. It is not sukun, but that's the Quranic style. When you end at the, at, at the ayah, you pronounce it like that, yadayk. But because we are here to learn, we want to be sure that you know it's a fatha, especially when you write it. So that's why we say yadayka. Tayyip? Um, what means book? Kitabun. Book is kitabun. I know if you stop, at the end of the sentence, you say kitab. But we want to be sure that when you write it, when you teach your children, inshallah, you say kitabun with the tanween of the dhamma, the two dhamma. Uh, okay, what is the book? Because we know what the is. 
Al-Kitab, Al-Kitab, very good. Because there is a rule in the Arabic language. There is a rule in the Arabic language that every word that has the tanween of the Dhamma, when you put Al before it, you have to take out one Dhamma. What did I say? Who knows? Yes, so you remove one Dhamma because of the Al. So what is the book? al Bu. You will never find in Arabic the Al and also two Dhammas. It's not possible. So when Al comes the, it takes out one of the two Dhammat. When Al comes, it takes out one of the two Fatha, even with the Fatha. When Al comes, it takes out one of the two Kasra. This is a golden rule you have to memorize. <clears throat> what is student book? Brother. Kitabu Talib. Kitabu Talib. A talib is one of the examples where you don't pronounce the lamb, but it's still written. A talib. You pronounce only the a, the, the, the first of the two letters. So the student book is Kitabu Talib. Kitabu <coughs> Talibi. Okay, what means a student? Talibun. Raise your finger. Talibun. Talibun, very good. Just, this is the student. If you want to say a student, just remove L and put two Dhamma, Talibun. What is two students? Talibani. 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 This means two students. Is it never Taliban? Yes, it's sometimes Taliban, but not without reason. So when you teach a person, teach him the root word. Don't teach him the situation what is just sometimes. So Taliban is just when there is a preposition before it in special situations. So, Talibani. Uh, what is the plural form? Three or more. Who knows? Tfadal akhi. Tullabun. Tullabun. We will learn, ayyuhal ikhwa. We will learn, inshallah, in this book, that the Arabic language is not like the English language. Because in the Arabic language, we have three forms. Single forum, double forum, plural forum. You understand me, brothers? Single, as al-mufrad. Double forum, al-muthanna. Plural forum, what's that? Al-jam'u. Okay, brothers? Kitabu Talib. Tayyib, ayyul ikhwa, open your books. If we say in Arabic plural, then it's three or more. From three and more. Because you cannot say two and more, because two has a special, that's the muthanna, that's the double forum. So if we say in, in Arabic plural, never say two, it's always three or more. Because we have three forms in Arabic. 
the single, double, and plural form. And then after that, we have spoken about uh, the meaning of the word, the chapter. What's the chapter, brothers? Al Wahdatu. What is the chapter? What is a chapter? Wahdatun. The Dhamma comes back. The two, one left, but after removing the Al, Wahdatun. What is the lesson? Ad Darsu. What's the lesson? MashaAllah. What is the first chapter? Al Wahdatul Ula. This whole chapter is about two things. The first one is At Tahiyatu. What's At Tahiyatu? The greeting. Wa Tahiyatuhum Yawma Idin Salam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, and their Tahiyah, the greetings is on that day, the Salam, yani in the Jannah. What is the second issue about this chapter? At Ta'aruf. What means at ta'aruf, my brothers? Introduction. Naam. At ta'aruf means to know each other. So if you say to a person, if you say, Ana a'arifuhu, Ana, I a'arifuhu, I know him. That comes from the word ta'aruf, knowing each other. To, to, to introduce each other. Um, we have done yesterday in the beginning of the book, this is a recap. Wa alaikum salam wa barakatuh. We have done yesterday a recap. Uh, we're doing now a recap for everything we did yesterday. What is the dialogue or the conversation? Who knows? Somebody, yeah, Akhmizan. Al-Hiwaru. Al-Hiwaru. What's Al-Hiwaru? Naam. Al-Hiwaru is the dialogue. What's Al-Hiwaru? The dialogue. Today you hear that a lot. Today we hear the word dialogue a lot. Al-Hiwaru bayn al-Adyan. Something that is very dangerous. Al-Hiwaru, if you look on in, in, internet, you see something they call it Al-Hiwaru Bain Al-Adyan. We have done two of the three words. Al-Hiwaru is the Bain Al-Adyan, the religions. Some people, I don't know what their intention is to please the others, they try to meet with each other and they say only the Christians and Muslims and Jews can meet in this hiwar. And then they're going to, going to talk to bring each other close. But you cannot bring Islam and Kufr close to each other. You cannot bring Tawheed and Shirk close to each other. So sometimes you might hear, you might see on the internet, Al-Hiwaru Bain Al-Adyan. You can go to a Christian to bring him to Tawheed but not to make concessions. You understand me? Al-Hiwaru Bain Al-Adyan. So if you hear Al-Hiwaru Bain Al-Adyan, you know what it is. Because Al-Adyan uh, is the plural of Deen. Deen is religion, Adyan is religions. Okay? Undur. What means Undur? No. Istami'a. Listen. If I point to somebody, he's the only one that speaks. And if you want to ask something in the class, raise your finger. Okay, brothers? Ondor is look. Istamia is listen. And a'id means repeat. What means a'id? Repeat. It starts with Assalamu Alaikum 
Uh, and then wa alaykum as -salam. We want two brothers to read this first hiwar, insha'Allah. Uh, our brother there. What's your name? Sishan. And brother Ali. Okay. You can borrow a book, I think. Who hasn't bought a book yet? Who bought a book? MashaAllah. So the one that uh, borrowed a book today, he, he puts his back, put it back in the box. Eh? Brother Ali took one book to borrow, uh, inshallah. Yeah, it's last day to borrow the books, inshallah. Okay. Iqra, iqra, ya akhi. Anta al qari al awal, you are the first reader. Wa anta al qari al thani, you are the second reader. The first hiwar. Now. Wa alaykum as salam. Some people make a mistake. They say wa alaykum as salam. No. Wa alaykum as salam. Wa alaykum. You see? Wa alaykum. Because in the Arabic language, there is a rule that it's not allowed to put two sukuns after each other. It's totally not allowed. You understand that you have a word. Okay, you have a word, and then you have the two letters of the word with the sukun, this circle. It's not allowed. Also in the Quran. And sometimes there is a sukun at the end of this word, the first word, and a sukun at the beginning of the second word. You understand me? It's also not allowed. So what happens then, like in the Quran happens, one compromises. So one has to change his sukun to a dhamma. Wa alaykum as salam. You understand? Because as salam starts with what? Look to the book. What's the first letter of as salam? Alif. What is the last letter of wa alaykum? Mim with a sukun. Yani that is it. Jazakallah khair. That is the original situation of wa alaykum. Assalam, okay, wa alaykum. So when the Arabs they saw wa alaykum ending on a sukun, and an alif has always a sukun, even if you don't see it, okay, alif has always sukun, even if you don't see it. So this one had, has got a dhamma. Brothers, this is just for information. This is not something we have to know now, but just to, to give you an idea that saying wa alaykum assalam is wrong. Tayyib ayyul ikhwa. Wa alaykum as salam. Naam. Tfadal. No, no, just go further, inshallah. Naam. So, what's ismi Khalid? My name is Khalid. What's ismi? And how do you say my, uh, my name is for a feminine? The same, naam. Ismi is my name is, it's for a man and for a woman. The, the, the difference comes with the U form. So a woman says ismi, no problem at all. A man says ismi, my name is. But when it comes to the U form, you have to change a bit. Naam, tfadal. Ismi Khalil. What is Khalil? It's a name, Arabic name. What's the meaning of it? Naam. Uh, Naam. Something, yani, the highest form of friend. The highest form of friend. That, that is Khalil. Tayyip? Jayit. Um, Akmil, go further. Naam. MashaAllah. What's Kayfa Haluka? Yeah, 
uh, that is the literally meaning, how is your situation? But in England we just say, how are you? Naam. You know, we don't say he said something wrong because hal means situation. What is the hal in that country? What is the hal in your house? What's the situation? But uh, it's quite difficult to say how is your situation because that's what it means literally. We just say, how are you? Tayyip. Uh, and that is the best answer you can give. If somebody says, haluka, the best answer is to say, بخيرن, I'm okay, I'm fine. Walhamdulillah. It is the fadl of Allah, it's the ni'am of Allah that I am بخير, that I am okay. So don't forget to mention Allah's name subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now, go further. Akh Ali. وكيف <coughs> So we know what كيف means So somebody says to you how is the book How do you say that how is the book <coughs> MashaAllah You see if you know a few words you can mix them كيف الكتاب Somebody says, in which chapter are you? You say, I'm, I'm the first chapter. You say, how is the chapter? How do you say, how is the chapter? No, no, I ask only him. How is the wahda? How do you say, how is the dialogue? Who knows? The brother. كيف الحوار? نعم. ما شاء الله. MashaAllah. طيب الحوار الثاني اقرأوا بعدي أعيدوا أعيدوا بعدي يعني repeat after me طيب السلام عليكم وعليكم السلام اسمي خولة مسمك اسمي خديجة كيف حالك بخير والحمد لله وكيف حالك أنت بخير والحمد لله the brother at the end what was what's your name إبراهيم you read with the brother next to you إن شاء الله okay طيب may Allah make it easy for you. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give shifa to the brother, our brother Ibrahim. Say amen brothers. طيب Umar, you read with, uh, you're the first reader and you're the second reader. القارئ والأول والقارئ الثاني. القارئ means the reader. It's not only in, in the Pakistani say قارئ to a person that's imam maybe. Yeah? القارئ. It's also the reader. نعم. تفضل نعم so كيف حالك you say that to a man وكيف حالك you say that to a woman. Anta is you, masakal in. Wa anti, you feminine. These are basic things you have to know in any language. So anta means you masculine. Anti, you feminine. These are pronouns. Isn't it? Pronouns. Okay. Al hiwaru thalith. We go. We go a bit quicker, inshallah. Al hiwaru thalith. Um, As-salamu alaykum Wa alaykum as-salam Min ayna anta? Ana min Pakistan Hal anta Pakistani? Naam, ana Pakistani 
وما جنسيتك أنت وما جنسيتك أنت أنا تركي أنا من تركيا أهلا وسهلا Who haven't read and want to read? من لم يقرأ ويريد القراءة تفضل أخونا وأخونا اسمك بابا نعم والأخ وقاص ما شاء الله تفضل السلام عليكم وعليكم السلام من أين أنت أنا من باكستان هل أنت باكستاني نعم أنا باكستاني وما جنسيتك أنت أنا تركي أنا من تركيا أنا من تركيا أنا من تركيا نعم Who else want to read, inshallah? The brother next to you. Uh, who else? The brother there. What's your name, Akhi? Farhan. Farhan, mashallah. Farhan means in Arabic, happy. So you have to be then happy always, inshallah. Farhan means happy. If you say, Ana Farhan, I'm happy. Mashallah, very nice name. Farhan. Tfadal. Uh, you start. الأخ. ارفع صوتك ارفع is raise صوتك your voice raise your voice ارفع صوتك وعليكم السلام نعم where are you no no we are at the third حوار Same, no, at the top. You start with, uh, start from the beginning, start from the beginning, inshallah. Hell. Hell. Not hell. 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 Yes, hell. Very good. Say another time. Hell and Pakistani. نعم أنا باكستاني وما جنسيتك أنت ريبيت أخ فرحان نعم أنا باكستاني وما جنسيتك أنت وما جنسيتك أنت تركي أنا من تركيا نعم very good الحمد لله we are very happy to see the brothers here we have inshallah patient with each other we are الحمد لله مسلم you understand you was also maybe a while ago, you could not read fast, so if to have patience with each other, inshallah. And uh, alhamdulillah, it's a big ni'mah that you are here, because there are youth of your age who are now maybe walking in the city center, messing around. You, alhamdulillah, in the masjid to learn al-khair. So have sabr, inshallah, okay? Have sabr with Arabic language. And inshallah, like I said yesterday, you have to have... Uh, uh, good intention with learning the, the language of the Quran. Okay, brothers? So there are a few things, inshallah, uh, that I want to mention uh, re regarding this third hiwar. I know that a lot of you are knowing these issues. But like I said yesterday, uh, the more difficult issues will come later on, inshallah. So 
the first thing I want to explain is <coughs> for the one that doesn't know this, and I know that a lot of you are knowing this, um, Uh, first, first of all is the word min. What means min? From. And it's quite confused. Uh, it's making uh, some people confused. Because you have a other word that is written the same style. So that's why it's very good to put the shekel on it. You know the shekel? You know what shekel is? The harakat, the dhamma, fatha, the zabr, the pesh, the, I don't know them all, but uh, that is the shekel, okay? So min means from, and it has a brother, this min has, min has a brother that is men, but men is who? The min is from, and men is who? Okay, brothers? Min is from. And this one you write it the same with the same letters but with the other shekel. That is men. What's men? Who? Min is from woman is who? What means Aina? Where? Very good. Aina. Where? What's Aina, brothers? Where? Where? So we know how to say, when you, before you come to the class, you say, where is the book? How do you say, where is the book? MashaAllah. Aina al-Kitabu. Where is the book? Aina al-Kitabu. You know? Ain al kitabu. I say read the conversation. You say, where is the conversation? Who knows? Ain al hiwaru. Very good. Ain al hiwaru. The conversation. What means anta? Nam, you masculine or feminine? Okay, very good. We will get later on. Min aina anti. That's where are you from? You say that to a woman, to a woman that is mahram of you, not any woman in the world. Anti is you feminine. Anta is you masculine. Anna, what means Anna? I, just I. You know, in, in, uh, sometimes when you translate things literally, you get in trouble. You know, if you look to the book, you might say, Anna means I am from. But just say I. Anna is I, okay? Sometimes it's me, but just keep it on I, okay? What means Anna? Anna. <coughs> Min? From. Pakistan? Pakistan. In the Arabic language, you don't have the P. So you say Pepsi. Say Pepsi. You don't say Pepsi, you say Pepsi. You don't have the P in Arabic language. But, does that mean that the English language is better because they have the P? There are more than 10 letters in the Arabic language that you will not find in the English alphabet. The Ghain. Who can say Ghain in, in English? Ghain. Who can say the Dad in English? Is there Dad? Who can say the Dha? It's no Dha in English. There are many letters in, in, in Arabic. Uh, that you will not find, not in English and not in other languages. Um, so like Ibn Kathir said yesterday, 
the Arabic language is the strongest language where you can express yourself, the best language to express yourself. Whether you're seeing something, feeling something, and so forth, and so on. So we have two things here. We have Pakistan and we have Pakistani. And we will explain that, inshallah. Um, what means hell? Ar, naam. Look, brothers. After saying, Ana min Pakistan, I'm from Pakistan, you see the, wo the, the word, it's not a word, it's a letter in Arabic. They say it's a letter. But anyway, that is grammar. D don't think about it. Um, in the Arabic language, if you want to make a question, you want to make what? A question. You can make a question by doing one of the two following things. To make a question. You want to let the person feel that you are question, asking him something. First of all, by putting the ah. And secondly, by putting the hell. Okay, these are the two, they call it tools. The two tools to make a question in Arabic. You understand me, brothers? If you want to make a questionable sentence. Okay? Yani, I'll give you an example. If you remove the hell from that sentence, hell and the Pakistani, you see the sentence, hell and the Pakistani. What means hell and the Pakistani? Are you Pakistani? Okay, remove the hell. What, what do you say then? That is, you are a Pakistani, without doubt. So making it in a question, just put the hell before. You understand me? And also the A. Ah. You can say, A anta Pakistani. And are you Pakistani? So put one of the two. Okay? In the Quran, you find hell and you find ah. A ilahun ma'allah. Is there a ilah with Allah? And the answer is known, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is asking the mushrikeen. A ilahun ma'allah. Is there a ilah with Allah? Um, don't talk, Yusuf. We are in the class. Hal <coughs> anta um, Pakistani? What means hal anta Pakistani? Are you Pakistani? There is something I want you to know. And even this is something what is quite uh, far from what we're going to do now. You see, what's the difference between Pakistan, the country, and Pakistani? What makes the difference? What makes the difference? The letter Ya. They call it Ya Un Nisba. Ya Un Nisba. You don't have to write this. Ya unnisba. You know you have a word and then you want to say that it belongs to you, it's yours. Okay, I'll give you an example of the ya, what the ya does. What means book? Kitabun. What's my book? Kitabi. Kitabi. Just put this ya. This ya un nisba, it looks like this. Kitabi, my book. What is pen? Qalamun. What's my, my pen? Qalami. What is something what we have done before? Anyway, we haven't done really a lot of words. But anyway, if you put the ya, it's my. My book. Al-ma'idatu, the table. Ma'idati, my table. Notebook, daftarun. My notebook, daftari. Um, 
and so forth and so on. Okay, brothers? So Pakistani is that you are a Pakistani. I'm a Pakistani. I'm a Pakistani. وَمَا جِنْسِيَّتُكَ أَنْتَ Say. وَمَا جِنْسِيَّتُكَ أَنْتَ What is wa? And. What is ma? Say to me, it depends. Say to me, it depends. Because ma can be the denial ma. Ma can be two forms. It can be ma. Yani I haven't... I didn't go out, ma dahabtu, I didn't went, ma dahabtu, ma kharajtu, I didn't go out. And it can also be the ma of the what, like masmuka. So what, what is the thing that makes the difference? The context. You know what context means? Yani the way the, build, the sentence is built. You cannot say to me, I want a golden rule. What's the difference between this ma and this ma? There is no golden rule. It's just look to the sentence, okay? Yani, if you put the ma, what's a questionable ma? This uh, what? You get a question mark at the end. This is a sign. You can use it as a sign. To know the difference between the ma where you are denying something or the ma that you are asking something. Because by saying masmuka, you see a, a question mark at the end. So ma is what slash no, denying. You should write like this, denying. Denying. Like this. Denying. So I teach you Arabic, you teach me English, inshallah. Is that a good deal? Inshallah. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we can talk after the class, inshallah. Wama jinsiya tu anta. This word we have to break it up so you might understand it better, inshallah. So first of all we say Jinsiyatun. We have to go back to the root of the word, otherwise you might not understand it. The root of this word is Jinsiyatun. And what is Jinsiyatun? Nationality. Nationality. Very good. What means jinsiyatun? Nationality. And now we know what means jinsiyatuka. And that is what? Your nationality. And now we also know what means ma jinsiyatuka. What's that? What's your nationality? You understand me? What did he reply? Ana Turkiyun. I am Turkish. And then he emphasized by saying, and I'm in Turkey, just to emphasize. I am from Turkey. Now, ma is here. In this sentence, is what? And in other sentences, it might be not. <coughs> Denying. Okay? If you say ma adhab, I don't go. So ma has two meanings. Two meanings. What and not. Context. The context. That makes the difference. And also the question mark. Because if you use the what, you, you will get mostly a question mark at the end of the sentence. So Naam. Sorry? Ma. No, Naam. Ma is always with the fatha because you see the alif after it. If you see a, a letter, okay, if you see a letter in Arabic with a fatha after it, it always has to be with a fatha. Because the alif makes the fatha long. It can never be a dhamma or a kasra. Ma. So it's fatha and something else and, and, and making it long. Naam, akhi. Jinsiyatuki is your feminine. And that's what we will have in the next hiwar. So jinsiyatuka is your nationality, but I forgot, you to, to, uh, I forgot to tell you that 
that you put the M between the brackets because this is the, this is the masculine your. We will get, inshallah, the feminine your nationality. <coughs> How do you say my nationality, Brother Omar? Mashallah, jinsiyati. Because the ya is like my, kitabi, my book. But that's not something that they ask you now in this book. They just, they just say, ma jinsiyatuka anta, what is your nationality? You say, ana turkiyon. I am Turkish. You know, if you, if you, if you say, Roma jinsiya tuka, what does that, what does that mean? And what is your natural, nationality? And the anta is just to emphasize. It's not compulsory to put the anta. Because the ka already means yours. So why do you put anta after it? Just to make it more powerful. Okay? He said, Ana Turkiyun. I am Turkish. Ana min Turkiya. What's that? Ana min Turkiya. I'm from Turkey. And I'm in Turkey. Turkey is a country. A part of it is in Europe. A small part of it. And the rest is in Asia. <coughs> okay? Um, and then he said, Ahlan wa sahlan. What's Ahlan wa sahlan? Welcome. welcome. And uh, uh, is there another word for welcome? Marhaban. Ahlan wa sahlan. I have also marhaban. You might hear sometimes people that are really trying to welcome a person by saying Ahlan wa sahlan wa marhaban. That is the fool. So if you really want to get a person to feel like, you know, double welcome, you say Ahlan wa sahlan wa marhaban. Okay, brothers? Naam. No, Ahlan wa sahlan. Is it two words or is it one, just one full word? No, it's... Uh, two words and one letter. The wa is a letter, ahlan, and wa sahlan. Naam. And the meaning is just welcome. Just welcome. Ahlan wa sahlan. It's not goodbye. Goodbye has other word, and that's the thing we will get, inshallah, in not the next hiwar, but the one after. Tayyib al hiwar al rabi'ah. Is there any question about the hiwar al thalith? Tfadal akhi. Ahlan wa sahlan. These two words make this meaning. If you just say ahlan, it's a word. But it, not, it, it will not give you the meaning of welcome. Ahl means... Um, Ahl have, has different meanings. Ahl is also family. Kayf al ahl? How is the family? Uh, sahel has also other meaning, and that is easy. Sahel. Okay, something is sahel. The book is sahel, easy. But brothers, like I said, if you're going to literally um, to translate every word, you're going to bring yourself in trouble. So just keep it. Ahlan wa sahlan. Yani welcome. Okay? But it's very good to always ask. Mujahid uh, rahimahullah, the student of Abdullah ibn Abbas, and this is narrated in Sahih Bukhari. He said, لا يتعلم العلم مستحن ولا مستكبر. أو كما قال رحمه الله. He said, Mujahid, the famous uh, tabi'i and student of Abdullah ibn Abbas. He said, two persons will never learn knowledge. The mustakbir, the arrogant, the one that feels himself too high to learn. And also the mustahi, the one that is shy. You know, he doesn't want to ask. No, he ask. You can ask me 200 questions if I have time in the lesson. No problem. As long as the questions are, you know, like serious. No. Ya un nisba. This ya, this is letter ya. Nisba is uh, that something belongs to you. Ya. The belong, belonging ya, the belonging ya. You say, 
The door is the babun. Uh, babun is door. Babun is door. A door. The door, al babu. My door, babi. So you put just this ya and it gives you the meaning that th something belongs to you. Nisba is that it, it belongs to you. So you say kitabun, book. What's kitabun? Book. How do you say my book? You use this ya. Kitabi. Okay? So how you change a book to my book? So a book means kitabun. My book, kitabi. You see? Yeah, barakallahu fiqh. Ya of ownership. That's better. But, you know, don't say it no, like, Rabbi, my Lord. Then it has not the, never the meaning of ownership. Because we are servants of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But in other things, in dunya things, Beiti, my house. I own the house, Beiti. But this ya, the own ownership plus a very good uh, translation, translation for this uh, uh, letter. Ya un nisba. Naam, tfadal akhi. Ibrahim, eh? Naam. Naam. First of all, uh, today we'll, we will only do if it belongs to you, masculine or you, feminine. So we have done in this third hiwar. Jinsiya uh, tuka, your nationality. Jinsiya tuka. Kitabuka, your book. Kalamuka, your pencil. And the fourth hiwa, we will do the you feminine. But the his or her, we haven't done that yet. Okay? So, if you say something belongs to you, you say the ya. Kitabi, my book. What is your book? Kitabuka. Kitabuka. Kita. Kitabuka. So we have done, until now we have done this. We will get one more, inshallah. Kitabun is book. Kitabi, my book. Kitabuka, you masculine. And we will get the you feminine, inshallah, after a bit. Tayyib? Wadih? Clear? Wadih means clear? Wadih? Naam. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Min ayna anti? أنا من مصر هل أنت مصرية؟ نعم أنا مصرية وما جنسيتك أنت؟ أنا من سوريا Did I say something wrong? أنا من مصر هل أنت مصرية؟ نعم أنا مصرية وما جنسيتك أنت؟ أنا سورية أنا من سوريا أهلا وسهلا You know after going out of this class today, inshallah, you have to know four countries. Which are they? Pakistan, Syria, Turkey, Misr, Egypt, Mis uh, Turkey, Turkey, and Misr. We have four countries. And that's, that are the four countries that are seeing here in these two hiwars. And they are really looking like that. If you, if you go to the... Uh, the map. If you go to the map, this is the form of Turkey. This is Pakistan, the form of Pakistan. Misr, this is the form of Misr. And this is the form of Syria. Okay, brothers?
So, um, who haven't read yet? Tfadal Akh Akh Al Karim. Tfadal. Anta ibda. Ibda is you start. Anta ibda. Naam. أنا من مصر. It's أنا من مصر. But just leave that. أنا من مصر. Because you finish here, and this is something that has has to do with grammar. نعم تفضل. مصرية. Two things. First of all, the يا has a شدة. You know what شدة means? The W, the small W. That means you have to stick on it almost two seconds. Misriyah, you have to emphasize it. Misriyah. And secondly, uh, this ta, where misriyah ends with, when you end a sentence with this ta, it changes in a ha. You get me? There is one ta, there is one ta in Arabic. They call it a ta ul marbuta. The ta that is close. And it's like a, you see it's close. You've also the open ta, that's like a boat. You've seen the ta, the ta? That's this one. This one will never change in other letter. But this is the open ta, ta ul maftuha. Ta al maftuha, the open ta. It stays like that. If you begin with it, end with it, same. But this ta, the close ta, if you end the sentence with it, or ayah in the Quran, it change in what? In a ha. It's, and this closed star has two forms. One is like a ball. You've seen this? And one is like this. So here, which one do we have? Open ta? No, not open ta. Tal marbota, the closed star. So when you end with it, the sentence, it changes in a ha. That's the rule. Hal anti misriyah. Say, you have really to hear the ha. Hal anti misriya. But the teachers in the schools and in the institutes where they teach Arabic, they want you to pronounce it fully, regardless of the rule, because they want you to know. If you're going to write this word, are you going to put the proper shekel, the dhamma or the fatha or the kasra? That's why they say, Hal anti misriyatun? Because it has two dhamma. So if you write it, you have to show that it has two dhamma. You understand me? Hal anti misriyatun? And also misriyun. You know the, the masculine, Egyptian. Misriyun. Egyptian. Na, Misriyun, Misriyatun. Na.